what's up? This is Patrick. This is Patrick Report Bear. From Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a few things that'll help you get started with paginated reports. Stay tuned. All right, what's up, Paginated Report Bear? How's, how's it going, man? Pretty good, enjoying my time in Atlanta. How was your first conference? Your it first was good, conference? it was oh, good, tiring. I'm did really you, exhausted. Did you meet a lot of people? I did. All right. Oh, okay. so all this talking, all this talking. Our fans don't like all the talking. They tell me this all the time in the comments. So today, I want to talk about a few tips and tricks that Chris in well, I guess you, or maybe it was your assistant. I'm not sure. Somebody enlighten me on these tips and tricks so I can get quickly started with paginated reports. And I thought we would share with all the people out that watch the videos. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. All right. So I was about to say head over to my laptop, but I think I may need some help with someone that has posable thumbs. Um, are you okay with that? You can come back later. No, no, that's totally fair. All I, right, so. I, you, I'm the beauty, he's the brain, so let me step can, off. <laughs> you think you can get your assistant to I think help so. me out with All this? Right, All right, let me go check. Get him, get him over here on the screen. Get him over here on the screen. What's up, Chris? Hey, how's, how's it going? going? Oh, this table. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so. I already screwed it up. <laughs> All right, so we got five things yes. I want to talk about. Just five quick tips yep. to help people get started with these passionate yeah. reports. You know what I found out? A lot of people don't even know. Yeah, it's surprising, isn't it? I mean, both of us have been working with SSRS for a while. There's a lot of people who've never tried or used these. I think it's the name. Yes. Going. Okay. Are you okay? Yes. All right. So I think the first place that they should start is download. Yeah. And that's optimized. There's two versions. There's two versions yep. of Power BI Report Builder, but I think we should you know, use one later. All right. So you one guys that says know, Power BI. One that says Power So you guys know I like to do, instead of all this talking, say on my laptop. Let's do that. All right. So you can get Power BI Report Builder from two places. The easiest place I find is once you get signed in, you click the little drop down arrow here and you select Power BI Report Builder. That's right. Paginated Report Builder. Right paginated there. Report Builder. Sorry. Paginated Report Builder. We don't want people to be confused. You can just create paginated yep. reports. And then the other way, if you do a quick internet search, you can find Microsoft Power BI Report Builder and click the download option. Absolutely right. Two Takes the same ways place. to get started. Easy yep. peasy. Download it. Use it. You right? got it. Once you got it, the next thing, what do you think the next tip is? Install it. Install. <laughs> Got a comedian over here. <laughs> I had a stuffed bear talking for I thought I was the funny one. Okay, okay. You're yeah, funnier yeah. than me. Okay, so once it's downloaded and installed. Yes. What's the next thing they should do? Well, for most people who are just starting out with yep. Report Builder, oftentimes they want to get take advantage of pageant reports because they're looking to do something printing or exporting data from yep. their Power BI. Yep. So the first thing I would do is find my Power BI data set. Okay. Yep. Whether, whether it's running in the service, whether it's running locally via desktop, you can connect any number of ways. Yep. But I know you like using the XML endpoint. I love using the XML endpoint because now I can complement my Power BI reports. Yep with my paginated reports because sometimes I need the, those long, nice, pixel That's right. perfect reports. That's a capability that Power BI doesn't give me, yep. but I don't want to create another data set for it, so why can't I use it? So Absolutely right. And so, easy way to get it, if you guys take a look at the screen here, if you go to your workspace, so I'm just in my paginated report workspace, if you click right here and you go to workspace settings, click on premium, you'll see the workspace connection. Yep. And there's several ways to get this. Yeah, and uh, one of the things we talked about at the conference is, depending on when this video shows, yep. by the end of this month, we will have the ability to browse and use any data set in Power BI, not just those in premium. Kind of like I can do in Power BI Desktop. Exactly oh, right. Oh, that's exactly going to be right. nice. going to be like, will I get the same modern type experience? Yes, in fact, we tried to mimic that experience as much as possible. So, you know, they announced those shared and certified data sets. Yep. Will they bubble up to the top, just like in Power BI Desktop? We're hoping to have that in place by the end of June. If not, it'll come probably a week or two. So you guys heard it. Right? Yes. You heard it here. I didn't say it. Well, depending on when this video drops. Okay. So. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Okay. So now I have my connection stream. Yep. I'll go over to Report Builder. And to use that XML endpoint, when I go to data sources and choose data source, which one of these would I use? Would I use um, Microsoft Analysis Services or Azure Analysis Services? You use SQL Server Analysis Services. You could use either one, I suppose, but SQL Server Analysis Services okay. for now. But Power BI Dataset will be sitting right there. Nice. So I don't even have to month. go through this XML. No, nope. it'll just say Power BI Dataset, bang. No, I want to ask you a question. All right. A serious, serious question. Right now, to use this XMLA endpoint, I yes, need sir. premium. Yes, sir. These data sets that we're going to connect to, do they need to be in a premium capacity? Uh, at the end of the month, no. Oh, you, nope. did you hear that? Did nope. you hear that? So non-premium data sets. I can use non-premium data sets again, um, for my, as a source for my paginator. Absolutely right. All right, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to walk you guys all through these little steps here. I've already created my um, data set here. So, I mean, my data source. So once yep. I have my data set, my data source connected, what's next? Well, the best thing to do in this case is to get the actual DAX yeah. from 
uh, desktop mm -hmm. from your uh, model because oftentimes people want to use the exact same DAX in both locations so they know they're getting the exact same yeah. table of data. You can go and use the DAX query builder here, which mm -hmm. I've talked about in previous videos, yeah. but it, with the introduction of the performance analyzer, there's actually an easy way to grab that DAX that's being used to create a table. So why wouldn't I use the designer here though? You could use the designer here, okay. it's perfectly fine. So I could just right click, add data set, and walk through, and there's a yeah. nice GUI. But... There's a GUI, yep, absolutely. But I don't know how to write DAX. So. That's right. I don't know how to write DAX. No. I don't want to learn how to write DAX expression. So I like your way. So I'm going to go over to Power BI. I've created a table, mm -hmm. but the problem is, right, in Power BI, this table has this scrolly bar, and if I wanted to print that entire table, I exactly. can't, right? Exactly. And so I can complement this report with my paginated report, but I can easily get the query for this. So if yep. I just go here to view, and choose performance analyzer, start the recording, click and refresh my visual. It's gonna do, you know, give me everything that happened on that page. And now I can copy the query yep. for that. And then what I can do is go back to my Power BI report, right click, add a data set, and then I'll choose the expression. Yeah, choose the expression. Right? And then just paste that in there. Yep. There we go. Bingo. Right? And click OK. And yep. it's ready to go. I've yep. already did this though. I've already set this up. I've already set this data set up, so now I have my data set. There you go. So three steps, right? Download load the report builder. Mm -hmm. Use the exact same data set, yep. I mean, data source that I'm using yep. um, for my Power BI reports, and then get my query, Yep. create my data set. Yep. What's the next step? So one of the nice things about Report Builder is it actually has wizards to help you quickly crawl, walk through creating a table. So I'm gonna have to let you drive because I'm not familiar with wizards. I don't, really? I'm not a wizard guy. I'm not a wizard. I don't. I'm not. I don't. I'm not like Harry Potter, right? I'm not like a wizard. Uh, I never went to Hogwarts. So All right. You'll have so to teach me let's to go this. through the table wizard yep. for the first All time. Right. So I've got my data set here. Yeah. 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 Next. So I just want to take all these fields and I can hold down the shift key. Oh, that's fancy. Drag them all over into values. Oh, look at that. Bang, next. And then I have an option if I want to show subtotals and groups or if oh. I want to expand the, but I'm not going to do any of that. So believe it or not, no kidding. I've never used this before. Wow. Okay, go ahead. I really should find a different person to help me out. Of the I use, <laughs> I like to know what's going on. No, no, that's totally fine. Yeah. But for people who've never done it before, yeah, super simple. Great. Super simple. Whew. That's all it. Right. Perfect, I love that's it. it. Excellent. So right. now you've got your table. Yep. You've got your report. You even had a, you had a nice title for me here. Yep, header, I did. In the header. So one of the nice things about Report Builder yeah. is it's essentially like a little server running locally on your machine. You can create your report and then just go render it. How much do I, what's the minimum requirements? Do I need like no. eight cores with 32 bits? No, it's a, it's a program that does the 32-bit right. program. It's been around a while. So. All right, man. All right. So if I go ahead and run it. You'll see there a little loading, spinning, and then ta-da! Oh, look at that! That was so fast. It was, it was so super fast. fast. All right, super fast. All right. Yeah. So now, I, now I want to go print this baby out. So okay. So this is tip number four. Yes. Right. Tip number four. So we got our report builder. We create our data source. Create our data set. Now I want to print this thing. Yep. This is a paginated report. Yeah, print that's it. right. Okay. So what I want to do first, I want to see what it looks like. Oh, so out. this is really the tip. Before yeah. you print this out, take a look at print layout. Yeah, it's, a, it's like, oh, this is look at this ninety pages. Ooh. Ooh. Print out, and it's going to be cut off. Yeah, I don't like That's it. not really like what it. I want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So there's a couple things I can do. One is I can look at the page setup and say, hey, do I want this to be letter? Do I want it to be landscape? Uh, so let's see what it looks like in landscape. That's better. So it's better, but it still isn't getting me all the yeah, stuff I need. Yeah, it's yeah. still 84 pages. Yep. So what I want to do here is go back to design, and then you could actually set the page size uh, over here. So you can set how it's laid out and the margins. Gotcha. So you can change the width and the height right there. That is really important. It That's is. really important because when it comes to printing, and you know, I, I think people assume that when you create a paginated report, you're gonna print it out. Yep. It's not necessarily gonna print it, it's you're gonna export it to a nice PDF or something like that yep. to email and you don't want to cross in multiple pages and stuff exactly like that. Exactly right. This is a big tip, tip number four, Honestly, it's probably one of the most most important tips that we've talked about so far. Absolutely right. All right. So give me the last tip. All give right. me the last tip. We so last five. tip. Let's jump back. Let's jump back to the run. Let's actually see. What, so like I said, it's like a little server running here yep. locally. Yep. Yep. So if you go to print or export, let's just mm -hmm. say we want to export. Yep. Look at all these different options you've Ooh, got here. Even a TIFF. Even a TIFF file. Tiff? Well, I've never uh, met TIFF before. That is actually Does an, TIFF image. Know Jason? an image format. Does it TIFF know Jason? <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Maybe we should introduce so, him. <laughs> just to talk about, so Word, PowerPoint, Excel, yeah. PDF, yeah. no explanation necessary. Yeah, yeah. 
TIFF, MHTML, you're probably not going to use those a whole lot. Yeah, no, no. Uh, but CSV, if yeah. you're just looking for the raw data, that's right. That's the one you're choosing. That's you're right. You're just choosing that one. Excel will give you the same type of thing, but actually one of the nice things about Excel, it'll keep the actual formatting oh, and everything. That's good if so you're... you've got headers and stuff like that, it'll keep all that. Awesome, so, awesome. So you can pick any one of these. So I'll go ahead and choose Excel. It goes ahead and export it, and look at that. Bam. Just I can like name that. it right there, and then if I want to, I can share it out with anybody I want. That is nice. This is nice. This is yeah. awesome. So five quick tips to help you get started with paginated reports, right? What do you guys think? You got any questions, comments? You know what to do. Post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video I just did with... Chris and Paginate Report Bear. <laughs> and Paginate Report Bear. That's right. Give me a big thumbs up, yep. as always, from Adam... Chris and Paginated Report Bear and myself. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Hey friends, this is Patrick. And I'm Adam Sexton. <laughs> <laughs>